what can we say? We can't get enough of this decade. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 90s TV shows that need to come back. Yes, but I don't want to die in your cab! You shut up, Oliver, before you got in! For this list, we're going over the television shows from the 1990s that we believe deserve a revival or reboot. Word to Big Bird! We fix eight Benzitos, 15 Jags, and a Maserati! But I ain't like the upholstery, so I took it back! Jack! Number 10, Xena, Warrior Princess. Her courage will change the world. Female-led action shows may be more common today, but in the 90s, the biggest name in town was unquestionably Xena, Warrior Princess. A spin-off of Hercules' The Legendary Journeys, this show followed the eponymous former warlord and her quest to redeem herself by aiding the helpless. I know Draco. I know the way he thinks, I know what his weaknesses are. If we act now, we stand a good chance of stopping him. While it wouldn't feel quite so groundbreaking these days, its compelling female protagonist and LGBTQ subtext would still be a welcome addition to the TV landscape. The punchline is that no matter what we do, we still end up as food for the worms. A reboot was discussed in 2015, but all plans for it were unfortunately dropped by 2017. Ideally, we'd like to see Lucy Lawless return for one more adventure, but if not, we'd settle for someone else picking up the chakram. I can't. I can't kill. Number 9. Nickelodeon Guts Nickelodeon helped define what a children's network could and should be, with not only its cartoons, but also its live action shows, which included competition shows for kids. Take your mark, get set. <laughs> All right, and ground control to the extreme arena. One of these was Nickelodeon Guts, which was American gladiators for kids with fun and or extreme spins on existing sports and other essential activities. You can use your legs, you can use your hands, you can use your head, your elbows, whatever it may be. This game takes a lot of agility. Although kids' competition shows are still around today, none of them has quite the same outlandish flair or potential nostalgic value of guts. After all, none of them has the aggro crag. That's Laura! The Bruce! Our purple player! Give her a piece of that glowing rock! If Nickelodeon brought the show back, it would definitely reclaim its title as King of the Crag. Number 8. Third Rock from the Sun this sci-fi sitcom depicted a team of four aliens who masqueraded as a human family to learn more about Earth. Everyone fully formed? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Everyone got ten fingers and eleven toes? <laughs> Check. Yeah. The group's misunderstandings of social interactions, biology, and pop culture are all hilarious. But the show's greatest strength was the way in which it held up a mirror to the often inherently bizarre nature of many human behaviors and conventions. The people have so much courage. Here they are hurling through space on a molten rock at 67,000 miles an hour, and the only thing that keeps them from flying out of their shoes is their misplaced faith in gravity. Reviving the series would offer a slew of new things for Tommy, Dick, Harry, and Sally to get wrong about being human, since technology and culture have progressed in a lot of ways since the early 21st century. Why did we choose bodies that could decay so easily? I told you we should come here as ducks, but nobody listens to me. Considering how successful Joseph Gordon-Levitt has since become, we think a revival would prove to be a major television event. Number 7. Doug This animated series followed aggressively normal tween Doug Funny and his colorful friends and family as they navigate various everyday situations. Look out, Bluffington! The Funny Family's arrived! Population 20,001. I guess the one is me. Doug would be a nice return to a more down-to-earth cartoon, even if the show's color scheme, soundtrack, and a few of Doug's fantasies get pretty out of this world. Tell me all those things that I want to hear. I need a homegirl's voice whispering in my ear. Doug. 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 Yo, Mr. D to you. Dougie D. Whether a future series followed an older Doug or simply acted as a reboot, there are many fans who would be thrilled to catch up with these beloved characters. Listen, was tonight supposed to be a whatever? I don't know. Are you saying it was a... You know? That being said, a revival or reboot would likely set a whole new generation of guys actually named Doug up the wall. Number 6. Goosebumps Horror anthology series aren't just for adults. In the 90s, there were several of them, but the one with the most brand recognition was arguably Goosebumps, which was based on the popular children's book series of the same name. I'm sorry, young lady, but these masks 
I'm not for sale. The show adapted a number of spine-tingling books for TV to deliver age-appropriate thrills and chills without verging into overt nightmare territory. How come he won't do anything now, huh? How come? Ow! You didn't say it. Given that the franchise has had several early 21st century movie adaptations, the time does feel ripe for a return to the small screen, too. No, I need to do this alone. I've been running away from people my whole life. I was so angry at the real world that I created these terrible monsters. <laughs> Maybe with Jack Black returning to narrate or host? In the 90s, the involvement of such a high-profile actor would have been unthinkable. But we're living in a brave new era of big-budget television, so why not? Number 5. Gargoyles Speaking of kids' shows that aren't afraid to get a little grim, Gargoyles is a surprisingly dark Disney cartoon about gargoyles who turn to stone during the day, but battle evil at night. Stations one and two have been breached. We've lost two-thirds of the data. Wrong. You've lost it all. The show's mature tone, as well as its more complex characters and longer story arcs, set it apart in the 90s. They had to pay. All humanity has to pay for what they did to our kind. There is good and evil in all of us, human and gargoyle alike. In fact, it still feels grown up even by today's standards of animated series for kids. Since the show maintains a devoted fan following, and considering Disney's begun reviving several of their other animated hits from the 90s, we'd love to see the age of gargoyles begin once more. Do it, and you win your freedom. Number 4. Freaks and Geeks Tucked into the tail end of the decade, Freaks and Geeks was a short-lived and much-loved dramedy about several groups of young social outcasts in the 1980s. All my new friends think I'm some goody two-shoes and all my old friends think I'm throwing my life What the hell am I supposed to do? Featuring whip-smart writing and a stellar cast, it's no wonder the show became a cult hit, despite it only running for one season. Who do you listen to? Clash, Iggy, The Ramones, Sex Pistols. All the obvious guys. Yeah, well, you know, I listen to more obscure stuff, too. While the fact that many of its stars are now big names in Hollywood could make a full reunion difficult, we'd love to see where the characters are now. Nor then, depending on whether it's set in the present, in the 90s itself, or even the early 2000s. Feels like I'm going back into school again. <sighs> Life's tough. Number 3. Friends one of the defining sitcoms of the 90s, Friends followed a group of six friends as they navigated life and love in New York City. Does this look like something the girlfriend of a paleontologist would wear? I don't know, you might be the first one. Defined by its snappy dialogue, memorable characters who feel like people you know, and one of the catchiest theme songs ever, Friends may be one of the most rewatchable shows out there. But that doesn't mean we wouldn't love to see more. Right, because if he doesn't like you, this is all a moo point. <laughs> A moo point? Yeah, it's like a cow's opinion. It just doesn't matter. Despite a mostly satisfying ending and a not-so-satisfying spin-off, we're still dying to catch up with these characters who've been there for us for so many years. No way! We can't just give up. Is that what a dinosaur would do? Number 2. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air this sitcom helped turn Will Smith into a household name and featured a fantastic supporting cast to boot. Will, these are my partners in the law firm of Firth, Wynn and Meyer. Hey, Earth, Wind & Fire, when's your next album coming out? <laughs> the story of an inner-city kid sent to live with his wealthy aunt and uncle, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air featured comedy and heart in equal measure, winning it a massive and devoted following. I learned how to shave, I learned how to fight without him, I had 14! Great birthdays without him! He never even sent me a damn card! To hell with him! Although a full reunion is sadly no longer possible given the death of James Avery, who played Uncle Phil, it's possible the show could follow suit by exploring the loss of his character. Or how about a story about how someone else's life got flipped turned upside down? Maybe Uncle Will could step up to help Carlton, Hillary, or Ashley with their kids. It's not unusual because I love conformity. When I see Dad hanging with Will, Wow, does anybody else feel like they just got slapped in the face with a big dose of nostalgia? I would love to see The Fresh Prince come back today. But just a reminder, we try to avoid including shows that have already been revived or are in talks to be brought back. So if your fave isn't here, maybe that's why. All right, we've got a few honorable mentions to check out right now before we find out what is the deal with number one. Well, let's just say in the course of a four-year relationship, I brought a hat, a scarf, a t-shirt, and a sweater. <laughs> we broke up. 
<laughs> I let her keep the sweater. We put some stuff on there like this. Wear your sunblock. Don't forget to write. <laughs> Never look a monkey in the eye. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. After all, dinosaurs have been on this earth for 150 million years. And it's not like we're gonna just disappear. First day, huh? Yeah, it'll get better. I hope so. What's your name? Alex. Um, Alexandra. Not quite at the end yet. Almost there, though. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. All right, back to business. Number one, Seinfeld. This was your idea. <laughs> what idea? I just said something. I didn't know you were gonna listen to me. Yeah, okay, this show started in 89, but we're willing to bend the rules because let's face it, it is a 90s show. It's the 90s, it's hammer time, come on. <laughs> Seinfeld redefined sitcoms by using its flawed but endearing characters to examine the minutia of society in hilarious ways. Yeah, I'm out, I'm out of the contest. <laughs> You're out? Yeah, yeah. Well Wow, that was fast! <laughs> Although we've had many great sitcoms since the show went off the air, we'd still love to see Jerry, George, Elaine, and Kramer get into all kinds of farcical trouble picking over the pop culture of today. Just talking? Well, what's the show about? It's about nothing. Sure, we got that sort of reunion on Curb Your Enthusiasm, but we need more. We're tired of griping about Seinfeld not being on TV every Festivus. A Festivus for the rest of us! <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.